Hey, what's going on, Summoners? Welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Nathan Ng, and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the best early game carries. Early game champions excel at getting their team ahead as soon as possible through sheer damage and utility. While they may not scale the best, they are great at forcing fights and coming out on top. We're going to be breaking down what makes them so good, as well as going through a quick rundown of how you can best build them. Anyway, let's dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got Darius in the top lane. Darius is a champion that is notorious for his early game cheese potential. Thanks to his passive, he's able to stack up a massive bleed stack that can go ahead and deal half of the champion's HP early on. Pair this with his W, and you got somebody who can easily 100-0 anybody in the early game. Darius may not scale as hard as the other top laners, but his ability to carry early on is nearly unmatched. If you need a juggernaut that can guarantee a level 1 victory, then be sure to check out Darius. Taking a look at Darius' itemization, be sure to grab Flash and Ghost as your summoner spells. This will let you chase down the enemy with ease. As for your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Wind, and Unflinching. These runes will make you a great fighter while also helping you sustain through the lane. For your items, you'll be grabbing Trinity Force, Plated Steel Caps, Death Stance, Dead Man's Plate, Serax, and then finish off with your choice of Force of Nature for the extra MR, or Guardian Angel for survivability. Early game champions may be powerful, but they're also extremely unforgiving. If you fall behind, you almost have no chance of coming back into the game. But not to worry, Summoner, here at Pro Guides, we've got your back. With our in-depth guides, we can help you take your early game strengths to the next level. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry. We have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. So, what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and dive right into our next champion. Pulling us back into the video, up next we have Warwick in the top lane. While Warwick may be a little bit of a cheese pick, he has both the win rate and early game power to back it up. All of his early power lies in his ability to duel any champion in the game thanks to his high sustain. Pair this with his ability to turn into a hyper tank later on in the game, and you've got yourself a champion that can absolutely 1v9. While he does technically fall off, his strength early on should give you enough of a lead to tilt the enemy enough to let you snowball into a victory. If you enjoy the non-traditional top laners, then make sure to check out Warwick before Riot catches on and nerfs him. Diving into his itemization, you'll be starting off with Flash and Barrier as your summoner spells. Barrier will let you quickly turn early game fights as you sustain with your Q and your autos. Don't be afraid to limit test with Barrier early on. For your runes, be sure you take Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend Alacrity, Last Sand, Second Wind, and Revitalize. These runes will give you great dueling potential and sustain. Moving on to your items, you'll be rushing Blade of the Rune King into Plated Steel Caps, Sunfire, Titanic, Death Stance, and then finish off with your choice of Spare Visage for MR and Sustain, or Serax for survivability and damage. Moving us into the jungle, we got Olaf. Olaf was well known for his early carry potential. Thanks to his W granting him a ton of life steal plus attack speed as well as his shield, he is able to win any duel with ease. On top of this, he can spam his Q constantly for bonus damage. After his mini rework, Riot took a bit of his early game power away, but he's still fairly strong. Thanks to this, he scales far better into the mid and late game, which means that if you can gain an early lead, you can carry your team to victory. If you love the concept of being a powerful berserker that lives off of fights with their entire kits, then be sure you put in some time to learn Olaf. Taking a look at Olaf's itemization, make sure you take Ghost and Smite as your summoner spells. You'll be taking Hillblade as your smite of choice, but for more dueling potential, feel free to take Red Smite instead. For your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, and Approach Velocity. This will let you take early game fights and then win them with ease. As for your items, you're building Core Drinker, Plated Steel Caps, Death Stance, Stair Axe, Spare Visage, and then finish off with either Black Cleaver or Dead Man's. Taking us into our next champion, we've got none other than Rek'Sai in the jungle. Rek'Sai offers a powerful early game thanks to her high mobility, versatile gank paths, and overall great burst. While she may have worse scaling than Olaf, she is easily able to get fed thanks to her ability to dive over walls and knock up enemies and secure kills. That being said, she may be difficult to play at first since you can't really see much while burrowed, but with enough practice, you'll be 1v9 in games thanks to her early strength. If you love to get fed off of ganks that snowball hard, then Rek'Sai may be the right champion for you. Moving on to her itemization, make sure you take Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. Rek'Sai will often take Blue Smite for that extra burst early on. As for your runes, take Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. While you'll lose a bit of power thanks to not having Halo Blades, your overall fighting strength will increase. For your actual items, you'll be building Prowler's Claw, Plate of Steel Caps, Edge of Night, Death Stance, Mob Memorius, and then finish off with the Guardian Angel. Let's take a quick break from these champions and move on to our favorite pro guide tradition. Today, we want to ask you all, what is your favorite style of champion? Personally, when I first started playing, I really loved the AD casters. I fell in love with champions that dominated the early game. Regardless of what your answers may be, let us know in the comment section down below. Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and dive right into our next champs. Pulling us back into the video, we've got Uction Mid. Ever since his release, Uction has maintained his reputation as one of the strongest early game champions in the game. 
This is due to how powerful his short traits can be. His passive lets him auto champion twice as long as the first basic attack connects. Upon 3 hits, he'll be granted a shield and deal bonus damage. Pair this with a bring like PTA and shield bash and he can out trade anybody while also keeping himself safe. On top of his great trade potential, Auction can roam with ease thanks to his W and his E. Both of these allow him to go around the map to pick up kills and resurrect allies. Overall, if you're looking for a strong, consistent laner, make sure you check out Auction. Swinging into Auction's atomization, make sure you take Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. Ignite will give you early damage and you can secure kills. For your runes, you'll be taking Press the Attack, Presence of Mind, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Shield Bash, and Bone Plating. These runes will let you take powerful trades and also lose no health in the process. As for your items, you'll be building Kraken Slayer, Berserker's Greaves, Blade of the Rune King, Rage Blade, Lord Dominic's Regards, and finish off with the choice of GA or Rapid Fire Cannon. If needed, feel free to build Wits End earlier on for some extra magic resistance. Taking us into our next champ, we've got Pantheon Mid. Similar to Uction, Pant's early strength is in his high burst and great trade potential. With his passive and PTA, he can easily combo any mage in mid lane down to less than 30% HP. Once he gets enough of a mid lead, he can gank other lanes or the enemy jungle with his ultimate. While he may not offer the range that Uction does, he makes up for it with the strong utility and burst. However, if you want to impact the map after winning your lane, Pantheon is a champion to do it with. Diving into Pantheon's atomization, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite. Pantheon has a deadly all-in combo, so Ignite is sure to give you that extra damage necessary to get you the kill. As for your runes, you'll be going for Press the Attack, Triumph, Legend of Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Cheap Shop, and finish off with Treasure Hunter. These runes will give you a ton of instant burst damage thanks to your Empowered W into Auto Q combo. Finally, for your items, you'll want to build Eclipse, play to Steel Caps, Black Cleaver, Death Stance, Sereldas, and then finish off with either GA for extra armor or Maw for some magic resistance. Pulling us into the ADC role, we've got none other than Draven. Surely we couldn't have a list about early game champions without featuring the king himself. Remember when his passive used to bleed people? <laughs> Sorry, good times. Draven's entire purpose is to get ahead in the lane and snowball out of control. His entire kit plays around the fact that it encourages him to be aggressive and snowball. His passive grants him bonus gold for kills, his Q offers high bonus AD damage, his W lets him hunt down targets, his E gives him a slow and CC ability, and his ultimate is literally a global spinning axe. Overall, if you're looking for a champion that embodies Feast or Famine, then Draven might be the perfect fit for your playstyle. Moving on to Draven's atomization, you'll be taking Flash and Exhaust as your summoner spells. If the enemy has somebody like Asher Leonum, feel free to take Cleanse instead. For your runes, make sure you take Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Abo Collection, and Treasure Hunter. While these runes may make your laning slightly weaker, your overall skirmishing power will increase significantly. As for your actual items, you'll be rushing Essence Reaver and then grabbing Eclipse, Berserker's Greaves, Collector, Infinity Edge, and then finish off with your choice of Lord Doms or GA for survivability. Speaking of early game kings, we have the queen of the early game with Samara. While she may not offer the sheer burst that Draven does, she's able to outskirmish anybody in the game. Samara walks a thin line of being Feast or Famine as she heavily relies on avoiding hard CC to deal a ton of damage. That being said, once she hits her power spike thanks to her early snowball, she can wipe out entire teams with ease thanks to her ultimate and her E resets. If you're somebody who always loved Katarina but wanted to be an ADC main, then look no further than Samara. Diving into Samara's atomization, you'll be taking Flash and Cleanse as your summoner spells. Cleanse is necessary as most people take Exhaust versus Samara and this will let you remove it. If you're certain that they won't take Exhaust, feel free to take Exhaust yourself and help with that dueling power. As for your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Arbor Collection, and Ultimate Hunter. These will rapidly start your snowball and give you a nice bit of damage during skirmishes and team fights. Moving on to your items, you'll be building Shield Bow, play to Silk Caps, Collector, Infinity Edge, Lord Doms, and finish off with your choice of Death Stance for longer extended fights, or GA to deal with high burst and survivability. Before we continue on to the end of the video, if you want to join an amazing community of people like you that loves lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So, what are you waiting for? Join now. Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and take a look at our last few champions. Hooking us back into the video, we've got Pyke's support. While a lot of you may have expected a mage like Brand or Zyra, Pyke is able to do the job and so much more. Sure, he may lack range, but he makes up for it with sheer damage, utility, roam potential, and lane sustain. Pike is able to play like an extremely aggressive Thresh, and with a few kills, he can roam around the map and get his allies ahead. Thanks to his ultimate, he can give his allies bonus gold while also granting himself the full kill. This only lets him snowball harder as he grabs more items until he can finally 1v1 the enemy ADC and make them vanish in an instant. Overall, if you're an aggressive player that truly likes a 1v9, then look no further than Pike. Moving on to your items, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite. For your runes, you'll be taking Hail of Blades, Cheap Shot, Zombie Ward, Treasure Hunter, Bone Plating, and Unflinching. These runes will give you a ton of early game damage while also helping you snowball. For your items, you'll be grabbing Steel Shoulder Guards, and then rushing Umbral Glaive, followed up by Mobility Boots, Dusk Blade, Ghost Blade, and then finish off with Guardian Angel. Last but certainly not least, we've got Karma Support. While she does fight for the spot with Senna as a powerful early game champion, Karma is a lot more versatile. 
With her mantra ability, she can adapt to any situation to give herself the advantage. If she needs to heavily poke out the enemy and then get weight priority, she can mantra Q. Maybe she's looking to CC the enemy but doesn't want to lose too much HP in the process, well, she can easily mantra W. Or maybe there's a teamfight going on and she needs to shield all of her allies as well as grant them bonus movement speed. Well, she has her mantra E for that. Whatever situation may arise, Karma's versatility and high damage numbers allow her to strike hard. If you're looking for support that can dominate the early game as easily as Karma, then you simply won't find one. Make sure you check her out before Riot finally realizes her potential. Diving into her build, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. Feel free to take Exhaust to deal with Assassins or Burst Champions if necessary. As for your runes, make sure you take Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. This will give you a bit of early game damage as well as sustain. For your actual items, you'll be building Shirelias, Lucidity Boots, Celtic Putrefire, Staff of Flowing Water, and then finish off with the Watchful Ward Zone. And that sums up our video for today. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides family at ProGuides.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you won't catch anywhere else, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys back in the next video, but until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.